What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be talking about first cars. Now, this is a topic that I will go over a lot on my channel, but today we're thinking about something very specific, and that is if you really want to be that sporty. In high school, I'm sure we're all dreaming about getting nice cars, and whether your preferences are sports cars or not, you might want to look at this list of my top five picks for the for high school sports cars. I mean, all of them might not be sports cars, but they can be sporty, or they will be sporty. That's about it. Some of these cars are JDM cars. There are all sorts of different types, Hondas, Fords, and we're gonna go over them all today. And there are ones that will have good gas mileage, good reliability, and I will dig deep into all of those today. So, quick disclaimer before I get into this video, uh, if you're considering purchasing a vehicle like this for your first vehicle, I'd just like to let you know before you consider this, although the cars can be cheap, the insurance cannot. So, I just want to make sure that you guys are prepared for the amount of work that it takes to own one of these in high school, and I mean, I'm not even sure if it's worth it. But I'm pretty sure it's worth it. So, we are going to get into it. So, the first car that we have on this list, and my personal favorite, is the Nissan 350Z. This car is probably the best mix of all of these. It's right in the middle with a nice V6 powered engine. There are two different types of engines. There is... Uh, I'm not even, I don't even know what they're called, but there is an older engine in the, I believe, 03 to 06 models, and then the 06 to 08, there are some pretty nice uh, new engines in them, which have a, few, a little bit more capability than those old V6s, but either way, you're getting what you pay for. Now, this car is probably the most expensive on this list, um, you can't really find them for cheap anymore. All of these cars are on high demand, and a lot of people know about them, so it'll be hard to get your hands on them. And if you already know about a lot of these cars, well, then you might not even want to stick around this video, to be honest. But, um, yeah, that's about all I got to say about this really amazing car. It's probably the best tuner car on this list. You get it dyno real well, and you can even LS motor swap it. But, I mean, I'm sure if you're a teenager, you won't even be able to afford that. You might as well just stick with it stock. Because the gas mileage, reliability, everything on this car is just about for perfect for your daily driver, commuter, race tracker, race tracker, drifter, anything. Any build, anything you want to make it, and it's all there. Next, we're going to be talking about one of the only V8s on this list, as you might not want a V8. Because with all of these sports cars and everything, well, comes the probability of you dying. Uh, so just, you know, another thing, be very careful when you're driving these type of cars. Because, I mean, if you try to rip it on a mountainside, <coughs> um, it it might not go very well. Uh, if you guys want to go check out some channel I have linked here. Oh, what am I saying? A channel I have linked here, linked in the description. Um, there was actually a guy on YouTube who had wrecked his Z trying to rip it across the mountain. So just be a little cautious when you're driving all these cars, especially this next one, because it's quite easy to uh, get injured. So just be careful on the roads <laughs> in any car that you're driving. But yeah, next, even though it took me a whole minute to get into this, is the Ford Mustang. The Ford Mustang is probably the uh, biggest slayer on this list because obviously it's one of the only ones besides the Z that is considered a real sports car. It's got a real big engine in it. And it can pack a big punch. And these are probably the most likely to be on the track. But really, you don't see many of them on the track. In fact, the one you see the most is the Z. 
there's a reason for that. And the Mustangs, although they're the least on gas mileage and might be a little down there in reliability, they're still just great choices for your first car. The next car we are going to be talking about is the Mazda Miata. The Miata is probably the most popular out of this list right now, as these have recently blown up. Now, I will say this car is the absolute most dangerous on this list, as it's about the smallest, there are a lot of convertibles, and this is probably the toughest to take care of when you're younger. But I will say it is very capable and very doable, and it's just a nice car overall. Things can be swapped with Corvettes. I mean, really? Anything on this list can be swapped with Corvettes. Whatever you believe you can achieve, you know. But these Miatas are probably the highest demand on this list. And you won't find it very much. You won't find any of these cars very much. But I actually will... Well, I, I will... Uh, okay, I won't. But so, the best places to find these for real cheap... And in real good condition is Facebook Marketplace. And if you go on there and you just search for the car you want, you'll be able to find anything. So that's where I recommend you guys shop from. And I think I covered that in the last video, but uh, it was not very in-depth. And I didn't know much of what I was talking about at that time and didn't have the knowledge I have now. But the Miata is overall just probably the most customizable uh, vehicle you could have. And... Even though it's a little bit girly, it's still a great choice, whether or not you're female or male, to drive one of these cars. So the next three cars we're going to talk about kind of go into one sub-area of Hondas. Because, I mean, who wouldn't want a Honda? But there are two different categories, which makes it the five that this list is. So, first of them, first of the few... Um, is the underrated Honda, which is what we're going to be talking about now, the Honda Prelude. Honda Preludes are just about the sleepiest car on this list that you can buy for a bang to a buck. And these things, I'm actually not too sure about this, but I believe that they have V8s, and if not, they have V6s. That's what they come in. And... I forgot to mention this, as I always forget to mention things in videos, but Miatas are in line fours. You'll rarely see anything else in Miatas unless they've been swapped, because that's all they come in. So, I forgot to mention this, but Miata, it's not the fastest. But I can tell you, it is the most fun. But, uh, the Honda Prelude is a bit different. Now, this is probably the oldest generation car we're talking about on this list, all these cars, I'm talking about a specific generation of them, and I didn't specify that, but all of them are around the years of the 90s to the early 2000s, and they're, st they're all very reliable cars. Um, the next car we're getting into is the absolutely most reliable and probably the most known car on this list, but the Prelude is probably the most underrated car you could get. And before I move on, uh, I'd just like to say, if you need any extra information on these cars, there are definitely some other better resources than me out there. You can go look at other YouTube channels like Fitment Industries and Donut Media. Any of those popular YouTube channels that will go a lot more in-depth about these. For example, on the Donut Media channel, they did a series of the 350Z, which I talked about earlier, and they compared them with modifications. And it was a big series, and I think it was pretty epic, and there was a good finale to it. So you guys should go check it out. Next, we're going to be talking about the infamous Honda Accord slash Civic. These are two different models, or not models, makes. I'm stupid, models. Yes, I got it right the first time. Focus, focus. Um, Honda Civics and Accords are two decently different cars, although they're the same package. The only thing you could find different in these cars is the Accord has a V6 most of the time, yet the Civic doesn't really have a V6 in these older models. Civic is more of a Miata, and a lot of people 
can find these for really cheap and sell them for really cheap. So if you're looking for the cheapest car on this list, I'd have to give that reward to the Civic because it is the absolute most value you can get out of any of the cars on this list. Yes, mileage and all that. So if you're not completely into having a track racer or anything like that or looking cool at school, well, I mean, then you could probably go for a Civic. But you can make these look really nice. You just need some extra money. And Accords, well, they're nothing bad either. And they're pretty nice. So that's all I have to say for all those cars. So like I said earlier, guys, if you need any other information, go check out some other resources. And uh, that's about all I have to say for today. So please, guys, make sure to go consider these cars. And if you're looking for one right now, well, I suggest you go on Facebook Marketplace and you start searching, even if you're a year ahead, because that's what I do, and you can trust me. So, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one then. Peace.